I didn't know what to really expect. But what I got was fine. Average. Literally split down the middle. And I'm going to tell you guys why. What's going on? Welcome back to Sit Up With Stain 77. Hi, I'm your random guy that loves to bitch about movies and music, Jackson Small. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing Eagles gear, well, because it's the NFL Draft. The weekend of the NFL Draft anyway, so I thought just appropriately. And apparently this brought me some good luck because, uh, yeah, we got some beasts in, uh, last night. But I'm going to wait till the whole draft's over, then I'll discuss it here. So... Don't worry, I'm I'm keeping track of everything, so look forward to that video. I'm not exactly sure when it'll come out, but it should be sometime this week. So BB Rex's new album. BB. Could she come up with a more generic title? Apparently it's supposed to be 70s inspired. And I hear a little bit of that, but not nearly enough. It just feels like another tossed out half-baked album, which unfortunately we've had a lot of this year, so. And like I said in the other uh, video I did last on this channel before this, I do have four albums to review today, so hopefully at least one of them is actually good. So let's go ahead and get to the track breakdown, which looks like this. Like I said, literally split down the middle. For the good, Miracle Man's great. Satellite is good, but I feel like Snoop Dogg definitely overshadows uh, BB on her own song there. When It Rains is really good. Blue Moon's pretty good. And then it ends on a country song of all things with Seasons featuring Dolly Parton, which is excellent. Far better than the god-awful meant to be. With Florida Georgia Line. Like this one is genuinely country. It has country instrumentation. It has country vibes. And it has a country singer on it. So. Yeah. And then for the OK songs. It's the lead single. Heart Wants What It Wants. Which. It's. It's fine. I don't know why it says it is. Stupid autocorrect. But yeah. That song's fine. It's just way too repetitive. Then I'm Good Blue featuring David Guetta. That's the one that everyone loves to hate. And it's it's fine. I've heard worse. Like, even on this album, I've heard way worse. Now let's get to the stuff that is way worse. Because the bad stuff on this album is really fucking bad. Calling Me Sucks. Vision Sucks. I'm Not High, I'm In Love is probably the worst song on the whole album. Just cringy, horrible garbage. Born Again is bad. It's it, her attempt at a soulful acoustic ballad, and it absolutely fails. Because she doesn't have the voice for it, and she sure as hell doesn't have the writing for it. And then I Am is just annoying. But yeah, those, those songs are really fucking bad. Like, I will listen to I'm Good Blue over any of that shit. Because those five suck ass. So, yeah, that's the track breakdown. If I had to say best ones on the album that you should listen to, listen to Seasons, listen to Satellite, listen to Miracle Man. And then, out of curiosity, when it rains in Blue Man. The rest of this album, you can just skip. Because the rest of it's not worth it. Because it's either dead average or absolutely fucking abysmal. So, yeah, little to nothing else to really say. It's painfully average, I'm probably expected too much, and that's my own stupid mistake. It's supposed to be 70s inspired, I barely hear any of that, it just sounds like generic pop music like always. And even though there are good songs on this album, only the three I mentioned at first are the ones I'd say play over and over and over again. Hell, I'm a guy that's never smoked and that's never gonna smoke, but I vibe with Satellite, like I really like that one. So, yeah, make it that what you will. Overall, this album is a dead average 5 out of 10. I'm a bit disappointed, but at the same time, I'm not because it's BB Rexa. She's been a very flawed artist for years. 
And while she isn't as bad as most people say, she's she's no pop diva. I'll just put it that way. But if you like this album, despite what I say, then you know what? I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. It's all good. I respect your opinion. As long as you're not a fucking dick in my comment section like some kind of bad omens fanboy. So, yeah. That's going to do it for this album review. Thank you guys for watching. And see you next time for album review number two, which is Dogma by Crown the Empire. Hoping it's good. See you later.